Welcome to the Capturing Data from External Sources presentation. In addition to manually keying your product and process data into WinSPC, you can capture data directly from a wide range of repositories and measuring instruments. For example, serial devices, Excel files and text files such as those commonly generated by a CMM, OPC servers, which is often an easy way to capture PLC data, databases that support ODBC, networked devices, and other legacy or specialized equipment. We refer to these repositories and instruments as external sources, and in this interactive presentation, you'll be introduced to the general procedure for capturing data from them. To begin, enter your name and click Login. There are two simple tasks that need to be completed to capture data from external sources. The first is setting up a WinSPC device. A WinSPC device is an interface within WinSPC that communicates with an external source. A WinSPC serial device, for instance, manages information from sources that use the RS-232 protocol. To illustrate how devices are configured, we're going to guide you through the setup of an Excel device. An Excel device is a device that facilitates the retrieval and processing of data from an Excel spreadsheet. Click the New Device button. Type Excel Diameters and press Enter. The Excel Diameters name is chosen because we've prepared an Excel file that contains diameter measurements for plastic water bottles. Double-click this new device. This window is used to configure WinSPC devices. Click the Device Type list to see device options for collecting from external sources. Select Microsoft Excel file. Notice the contents of this setup window changed. This is because each device type requires a unique set of information. For an Excel device, the first piece of required information is the location of the Excel file. So, on this Connection tab, click Browse, select the Excel Diameters file, and click Open. Since the default information provided on the rest of this tab is suitable for our example, click the Mask tab. You'll use this Mask tab to locate the diameter values in the Excel file. Click the Get Reading button. This displays the Excel file's content in this top area. To locate the diameter values within this content, click the green plus sign. This adds a location, a location being simply a position in a file or data stream. Under Type, click Data. Data is one type of location. It is used to identify measurements. The other type is tag. It is used to identify tag information such as a lot number. Select Data. Next, click Inside the Location field. Type Diameter for a location name and press Enter. Now at the top, find the column that contains diameter values and click that column's header. This populates the location with the column and row specifics that WinSPC will use to identify and capture diameters from the Excel file. Since the first row in the Excel file consists of column headings and doesn't actually contain a diameter value, change the Start Row value from 1 to 2. If the Excel file had other variables, 
or one or more tags that you wanted to capture, you could define more locations. The one variable, though, is sufficient for this example, so all that remains is testing your setup. To do this, click the Test button. and compare the value in the value column to the first value in the column of diameters above. If they match, the setup is correct. To save your work, click OK. That is all there is to setting up a device. You create a device, select the device type, and supply the details specific to that type. Now we'll complete the second task required to capture data from an external source, setting up a collection plan to use the device. To perform this task, you'll configure the bottle collection plan, which was created in an earlier presentation, to capture diameter values using the Excel diameters device you just set up. Select collection plans in the tree pane. In the Contents pane, double-click the Bottle Collection Plan. With the Diameter variable selected, beside the Collect With field, click Browse. And double-click the Excel Diameters device. This enters the device name in this Collect With field indicating the devices to be used by the collection plan to capture data. Because diameter is the variable for which you want to capture data, leave the diameter location selected in the location drop-down list. Finally, you need to specify how WinSPC will prompt the device to retrieve data from the external source. There are a variety of prompting options available. On the Timed Data Collection tab, you can set up automatic prompts prompts that require no user action. In our case, however, you'll set up a prompt key. To do this, click the Collection Plan Options tab. Under Device Options, click the Prompt Current Device On list and select F9. By doing this, You've enabled users to prompt the device for measurements and tag values simply by pressing the F9 key. This completes the collection plan setup you need to do. To save your setup, click OK. To review, you have set up WinSPC to capture measurements from an external source. You did this by configuring a WinSPC device and then configuring a collection plan to use that device. Let's take a minute and get an idea of what you might see when you are actually capturing data from an external source. We can do this by right-clicking the Bottle Collection Plan and selecting Data Collection. Now that you're in the Data Collection window, ensure the Diameter variable is selected and press the F9 key. As you can see, this retrieves and plots the diameter values from our Excel spreadsheet. WinSPC's ability to easily capture data from external sources enables manufacturers to automate and fully optimize data capturing efforts. Thanks for watching.